It is Kaya FM 95.9 and uh, of course it's time for my top 10 out of 10. Hello Kaya TV, I hope you tuned in. Are you there? Hello, I'm waving, I'm waving. Wave. Okay. Which at which camera? This one here. Hi Kaya TV. <laughs> Jeez, are you Tambo's kids? We are. You look amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very That's much. That's very nice of you to say. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> Clearly made out of love, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Just another Thursday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never. You know what? You can tell if the kids were made out of romance. Oh, what, and if, they, if they weren't something defective in the face? No, no, you can tell. <laughs> okay. You know, when a child is, you know, born with wrinkles, you're like, was it during lunchtime? No, no. Can, can I tell you something? Do you have children? Five of them. So then you should know that most children are born not attractive. That's the truth. Ah. No, newborns are, I, I, I have babies, and newborns are not good looking. They get into their cute like week two. That's when they hit you their stride. You then need to go back on how you did it. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sure you guys came out twisted. <laughs> threaded, threaded. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. We're having tea, are you having tea? Oh. I, I'm not having tea, but thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you. You're carrying well. Thank, thank you. I, Number? I, three. Are you going to stop? Should not we buy you TV? Zach, what do you say? I think we should buy a TV set. Hey, if not, why not? Yeah, I mean... If not, why not? How big do you want it? The we TV? can go as big as 75 inch. Then in I the, think that's appropriate. In the in the bedroom? Yeah, I think yeah. that's appropriate. Distract the whole your bits. Family. Yeah, the whole family yeah, can everyone nice can just get sight. in on it, watch, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel though, Zach? <sighs> being an uncle? It's... It, it, it's um, fun, it's exciting. I'm very jealous because <laughs> she's now three kids ahead of me, 3-0. And I'm oh, like, yeah, exactly. You feel like my father, my father right now. <laughs> so I've got a lot of catching up to do. I've got a lot of catching up to do. You are basically carrying her name um, since you are Francis. Um, so this tough question is for you. Mm. You are now Mama Adelaide. <laughs> You're looking at this country. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at this country. You're looking at where we are. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I am Mama Adelaide. I'm looking at this country. Look you are Francis. I, I am. I am Francis. Um, <laughs> I think that we say we need to relook our priorities, and I say that because my grandmother was very, very pragmatic. Mm. She didn't get bogged down in the minutia of oh, but if ands or maybes. Mm. She looked at the reality of the situation and said, how then, what can we do to help? Yeah. And I think that, you know, were she still alive, maybe people would have a different perspective on things because, mm. you know, she also had a way of being able to impart knowledge and being able to give advice sure. to persuade people sure. to see the wood from the trees, you know? Yes. Um, but I think that uh, with her, a lot of the things that she would always uh, look back on is centered around communities and whether or not communities are prospering or not. And I think that if she were to be here today, you know, she's the type of person who, because she's pragmatic, also realizes you can't have your cake and eat it. Mm. So she wouldn't have a defeatist attitude. She wouldn't have a disappointed or despondent attitude. She also wouldn't be overjoyed or overly happy. Mm. She would take stock of the things that have been done right mm. and said, good for us, those are done now let us now move forward and see where we can improve. Mm. Um, because she never liked to be <clears throat> standing still. Sure. And I think that what she wouldn't want for us, and I'm not saying this is where we are, just as a general principle, is that for us as a country to be standing still. Sure. Let us, again, take stock. What have we done right? Good for us. We can give ourselves a pat on the back. And now, how do we move forward from there? True. You know? Mm. So um, <clears throat> that's what I believe her lens would be. I know that in the advice that she would give me and give my sister and my mom, it was always very much so, yeah, you can shout and scream about your achievements till the cows come home, mm -hmm. but your achievements have been achieved. Yes. So what is then the next the past, obstacle yeah. Yeah, that yeah. you're going to conquer, you know? Oh, well, yeah. um, so I think that's through her lens. Through my own lens, though, um, mm. if she were to be reincarnated as me as opposed to me being reincarnated as her, <laughs> um, yeah. I think that, um, you know, I'll look at everything as a product of its time and of its environment, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that a lot of the times our aunts and uncles, not, uh, you know, uh, Uncle Dali and Aunt Salani, but, you know, our family down the Eastern Cape, whenever we go visit them, there's always this talk about, you know, guys, back in the day, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, have it yeah, so good yeah, today, yeah, and, yeah. And, and we are very appreciative of that because sure. we are the last people to not know what has gone in True. to 
us having you know the luxuries and the privileges that we have today mm. um but at the same time what were concerns for one versus concerns for the other two different things so i don't know hopefully we can change with the times and uh, adapt our ways of thinking fingers crossed fingers hey, crossed hey banaba no matemba le monati i enjoyed you guys thank you so much for being thank here thank you, you very much us. for having may, us may her story may her legacy live forever thank, thank you. you let's celebrate it right absolutely Amen. Thank you.